and foremost, I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Barashim Yahweh Shai, Barashim Arukah Gwadash. And double honors to the apostles of the great millstone that taught me this truth through the inspiration of Yahweh Shai with the Holy Spirit. And um, salutations to the Yakim out there as forwarding this ministry as always in diligence, most importantly, out of the sincerity of their hearts. And um, shalom to those that are heeding to the ministry as well as we give it to you. It's the Brother Mark Akam coming at you with another video. And the topic is going to be based on the books being opened, which is the most important thing that's ever happened on the face of the earth, especially for the children of Israel. And, um, you know, this thing which is happening, the books being opened, I say, is causing a stirrup in this world. You know, first beginning with the pastors, the so-called black pastors right now, which are pondering in their minds as to why they're losing members that were once a part of time going into their churches. And then you have the elite, which knows that is seeing in their high towers and they're seeing something that should have never happened. And, um, you know, the thing that they're seeing is, is they're seeing so-called black men coming back to the truth that they're the Israelites, that they're the real Jews that the Bible speaks about. And this was something that was supposed to be a secret, never told, never exposed. And now that it is, and it's all due to the fact because the books have been opened, beginning with the men that came before our elder apostles. And um, that knowledge was transferred to our elder apostles and that knowledge was transferred onto us. And now that information has gone global. So um, what I want to do is, is I first want to read the book of Daniel's chapter 12 verse 2 you know what verse 4 we're going to get to the point but thou Daniel shut up the words and sealed the book even to the time of the end and many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased so in the time of the end the true genuine gospel which was taught 2000 years ago would be without would be closed no one wouldn't come to the understanding of what the gospel was all about and as well as the entire bible for that matter until when what's name came on the scene you know you had um and i began in 1969 because that was the year when this truth came out by a man such as as we know him as um abba bivens and we believe him to be the Elijah spoken of in the book of Malachi, the fourth chapter, which would turn the sons to their fathers and the fathers to their sons. I'm roughly paraphrasing the scripture there before the dread, dreadful day of the Lord. And that would make sense because the dreadful day of the Lord did not come in the time of Elijah himself. All right. The dreadful day of the Lord did not come in the time of Yahweh Shai. That time was going to happen when Esau rules and we're in that time right now of Esau's rulership and it's going to be in Esau's rulership that the dreadful day of the Lord will come ultimately Yahweh Shai revisiting the earth with great power pursuant to the book of Isaiah 63 verse 1 okay so before that time you would have a man such as Abba Bivens which would return the Israelite men back to their forefathers by returning them back returning them back to the scriptures and with that being the case they would gain the understanding thereof by the precepts as david said through thy precepts i gain understanding so that's what's come upon us the understanding of this gospel and so that we have so um let's read verse four verse excuse me <laughs> Daniel's 12 verse 4 but thou o Daniel shut up the words and sealed the book even to the time of the end and many shall run to and fro and knowledge shall be increased and we can say more so from the time of 2007 to 
to onwards because this truth went global from that time and it was all due to the internet and through the internet you're able to find out knowledge like every so often you know we're in the times when you can find out information that once came by like every let's just say every two years or every five months but now you can get knowledge just like that anything you want to know out here you can just google it youtube it which is the same as google because uh google owns youtube so ultimately you just go and google it you know and then this information that comes out that no one knew about every so often doesn't have to take two months it doesn't have to take five months or a year for new information to come through new information is found and it just comes through like that so the eyes of many to see okay so what is this talking about it's talking about the times that we're living in right now more precisely i mean we can begin from 1969 and to the 80s to the 90s but there wasn't really much of the technology that we have right now it wasn't much of the technology such as what, how we have it today you know so i would say more so from 07 to, to onwards all right that's just my thing but um so now what we're going to do is we're going to move forward and we're going to read revelations 5 this is Revelation 5, verse 1, and I'm going to read from verse 1 to 5. Yeah, verse 5. Revelation 1, Revelation 5, verse 1. And I saw in the right hand of him that sat on a throne a book written within and on the backside sealed of the seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof. So it took the spirit of Yahweh Shai to reveal the book. I'll jump down and read verse seven. And he came and took the book out of my right, excuse me, out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and the four and 20 elders fell down before the lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of the saints. And this is talking about the saints and they sung a new song saying thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof let me read this again uh revelations 5 verse 8 and when he had taken the book the four beasts and the four and twenty elders fell down before the lamb having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors which are the prayers of the saints and they sung a new song thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed us to the Most High by thy blood out of every kindred, in other words, every nation, because the Israelites would be scattered in every nation, and tongues and people and nations. And this is more applying to now because from 2007 to onwards, this truth has been global. Okay. And has made us, excuse me, has made us unto our power, kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And before we reign on the earth, we would have to be given the true genuine gospel, which was taught 2000 years ago. Because ultimately, the reason why the books are opened, truly, because it's all tying to the coming of the Messiah. That's the true and general reason why we're on the scene speaking this gospel, which was so long without fruit. And that is now proliferating all over the face of the earth. So much so that it's tearing this world apart spiritually. First beginning with the pastors. Because the pastors are now pondering their mind. Why is it that they're losing so many members that were once going to their church? 
and then you have the best kept secret which was never to be told and that has been exposed because what are we really doing we're really unveiling the lies and showing you the truth of it all now what i want to what i would like to do is read the book of um daniel's chapter 2 verse 28 and it reads it says but there is a god in heaven that revealeth secrets and make it known to the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall be in a lot of days thy dreams and the visions of thy head upon thy bed are these and as for thee O king thy thoughts came into my mind and thy bed what should come to pass hereafter and he that revealeth secrets make of known unto thee what shall come to pass um no, that's not the that's not the verse that I want. Yeah, this is it right here. Exactly. This is uh Daniel chapter two. That's a good precept too, but that's not the one I wanted exactly. This is um Daniel chapter two, verse nineteen. We'll begin there. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven, which is Yahweh. Um, Daniel answered and said, "Blessed be the name of God forever and ever." For wisdom and might are his, and he changeth the times and seasons, and he removeth kings, and setteth up kings, and he giveth wisdom unto the wise, and knowledge to them that no understanding, and he revealeth the deep and secret things, and he know what is in the darkness, and that the light dwelleth with him. So the same way Daniel was given the interpretation of the vision which was given to Nebuchadnezzar, he was able to interpret it. Now Nebuchadnezzar had the men which were um you know wise in their own way as it, as it reads right here daniel's answered in the presence of the king and said the secret which is the king of the man that cannot the wise men and the astrologers and the mission suit says show unto the king so these men couldn't show the interpretation to the king but daniel why because the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of heavens and earth, was the only God that can reveal the secrets unto Daniel. So it's the same thing with us. The Lord gave us, the Most High gave us the gift of prophecy. He's given us the gift of faith, and He's given us the gift to interpret scriptures the correct way. Therefore, declaring the true, genuine gospel, which was taught of Yahweh Shah 2000 years ago and we're able to now continue with that same traditional um, gospel as we can all remember when we were in the world we had Bibles and we would read the Bible but with no understanding of what it was saying some of us would have told our pastors what does this mean what does that mean and he would break it down in his own way and um, the pastors never really had the truth and they don't have the truth today what do i what do i mean by the truth they don't have the the genuine gospel that we have which is what yahweh shai was teaching with all right so we become what wiser than our teachers in that case and if we were to go back to these same pastors that we went to to hear the so-called gospel we would tear them apart we will be the ones looking at them like they don't even know what they're talking about. Okay. So, yeah. That's all due to the fact that the Holy Spirit. Or should I say Yahweh Shai. Has supped with us. And I want to read this. It says. Behold, I stand at the door. What is the door? Your mind and knock. And if any man hear my voice and open the door open your mind i will come into him and will sup with him and he with me and that's what we all did and that's why we have the secrets of this gospel we can interpret the scriptures the correct way we know the mysteries we know the prophecies we know the dark parabolic sayings of this bible 
how many people say excuse me how many people can say that they know all of these things that we do know not many only a very few of us so the men that have this truth that's preaching this gospel the lord is dealing with them now and they're revealing the books okay what is the book that is being revealed or has been revealed or opened the bible that's the book that's been opened and the word bible is from the greek biblios or biblia which means a compiled of books okay so let's move forward we're going to get um first timothy's 4 verse 14 neglect not the gift that is in thee which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the hand of the presbytery and the word presbytery just means a body of elders and that's where we got the truth from we got the truth from the elder apostles the men that taught me the truth was the elder apostles of great millstone and the men on down and it was by prophecy that we would be reformed in knowing this truth so we would know that we're Israelites we would know about the prophecies of what pertains to the Israelites and just the world in general and the other nations and we also know that um, the so-called white man is indeed the wicked and the devil that the Bible speaks about so these are all things that we that was given to us by what by prophecy like it says in the book of Hosea um, no the book of uh, 2 Peter 3 let's get this it says this second epistle beloved 2 Peter 3 and 1 I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance that you may be mindful of the words which were spoken before the holy prophets and of the commandments of us the apostles of the Lord and Savior so our minds have been stirred back up in knowing what our forefathers were saying and everything else as I've explained so verse 15 it says meditate upon these things give thyself wholly to them that thy profit may appear to all and take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine continue in them for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee ultimately why because this is the gospel of our salvation this is what's making us also wise unto our salvation so yeah we know the mysteries of the wicked yeah we know that we're the children of israel yeah we know that we must keep the commandments of god and all of the above so now that we know all of these things we're supposed to apply all of these things and remember and, and, and to to keep meditating thereupon because it's, it's good to know it generally but are you taking it seriously to put all of this information to action so that's what we want to find ourselves doing at the end of the day but um going back to the topic at hand through the books being opened as well as the so-called white man is being revealed as well so it reads and then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth the spirit of the Lord's mouth is through the gospel and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming so when the gospel is taught which the gospel will be a nuisance to this society and this is why when you go on Google and you type in the Hebrew Israelites is all negativity this truth relies on lies as it is written in the book of revelations the 20th chapter that the dragon which deceived the whole world and what is that dragon referring to the roman empire which is the part that we're in where the last leg of the roman empire so this beast deadly wound would be healed and it would be loose a little season to deceiving the world so when you have a world which is based on deception and the truth is within that world then that world cannot stand and this is why the elite have made sure very much so that we don't get this truth because if we get this truth then 
they can't deceive the world as, as the way that they would like to especially deceiving our people um our people them being deceived and them being unaware to this knowledge benefits this kingdom but the men of the israelites wake up to who they are and what they're supposed to be doing then the world cannot stand okay and they know this man And most importantly, what they didn't want to happen is that they would be revealed. They didn't want to be revealed as being known as what they are biblically, which are the um, the Edomites. Those are the two secrets that should remain to be untold. Is that the so-called black man, the so-called Latino man, the so-called Native American man are indeed the children of Israel and that the so-called white people beginning with the small hats the J-O-O-S's have you will and um, the regular so-called white people on down below them are indeed the, Ed the Edomites so those are the two things that were supposed to be secrets never told but it's being exposed already. The truth is being exposed to who we all are on this face of the earth. And as well as the wicked has been revealed by the books being opened. Let's read this again, shall we? 2 Timothy 2 verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume the spirit of his mouth. And shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And not only do we know who the wicked is according to the Bible. But we also know what the wicked are going to do according to prophecy. So even as while we watch these politicians that's over us right now telling us what they're telling us we already know the game plan we already know where they're going we already know where they're coming from man we know where they're coming from and we know where they're going and they can't pull the wool over our eyes because we know eventually that the leaders of this world will fulfill the last prophecy and the last prophecy of them all is going to be the karakma Okay, the mark of the beast prophecy. I said it. That's what's going to happen eventually. It's all going to lead to that prophecy. Because it's written for them to do so. Isaiah 55 verse 11. So shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. And it shall not return unto me void. So there you go. So that's all I have to say on this, this lesson here. And I can't forget, because I looked at the word prophecy, right? I got to read this. So when we look up the word prophecy, the Greek word is what? Prophetia. Let's play this anyway. Strong's G, 4394. Prophetia. Prophetia. Prophetia, which means prophecy of the scores emanating from divine inspiration and declaring the purpose of the Most High, whether by reproving and admonishing the wicked and that's what we do when on a daily or comforting the afflicted or revealing things hidden especially by foretelling future events and that's that's what we do so that's the gift that we would that we were given and that gift came by us listening to the presbytery in other words the elders so there you go. That's all I have to say right there. I want to give all of the praises and the glory to the Most High and His Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahusha, Ba'ashim Avakar Kodash. And um, by the books being opened, as I'm going to say, and I'm going to say this again, this is the most important thing that's ever happened on the face of the earth, especially for us, the Israelites, because for so long, we didn't know this truth. We didn't know that we were the Israelites. We didn't know that we were taken as slaves because of the sins of our fathers. And we didn't know that the people that rule over us had a wicked purpose because they are the wicked so all of these things have now been revealed and it's all to do because the lord is getting ready to make his second return real soon so before the, the lord's return comes in effect and before we reign as kings on the earth the books would have to be opened so this shows you that we're near the end and i just had to say those couple of words especially dealing with this topic man So that's all I have to say. So with that I say, Shalom.